Now let's look at the first set of the Silum Tau form. You already know most of this as it's basically just getting into a front stance, which we already learned. When we're doing this, I simply put my feet on a straight line, and we're gonna nickname this set the intro set, the starting set of the Silum Tau, and this is actually the starting set of every Wing Chun form. So my feet are on a straight line, hands at the side, and I bring them up, nice, loose, and relaxed, straight back, drop my knees, my left foot circles, and my right foot circles. And I want everybody to look down when they're doing that every time at the beginning to make sure you're getting in a good front stance. Eventually you won't have to, but adjust. Don't move any forward until you're in a good front stance. From here, what I'm gonna do is simply define my center line. I'm making an X. It doesn't matter if it's left over right or right over left. We're only doing this to define this is the line that comes out the center of our body, our center line. And Wing Chun, we focus a lot on center line and central line concepts and principles. So when we're moving, everything's moving out of the center line in the Silum Tau form. Or most everything, you'll see some parts where things will be a little bit different, but at the beginning, everything is flowing out the center. So from here, I define my center line. Once again, doesn't matter, left over right, right over left. I bring my hands up, and then I pull them straight back. And that's the intro set of the Silum Tau form. I wanna show you from a side view. Hands to my side, nice, loose and relaxed, feet together. Pull back, drop my knees, my left foot circles, my right foot circles. I want everybody to double check that you're in a good front stance, making the adjustments you need. Feet on a straight line, knees in, back straight, hands relaxed. From here, I define my center line and I bring my hands up. Notice I'm not bringing them back like this. Notice the angle, they're slightly angled here. And then straight back. So it's just out, up, back. Let me demonstrate this one more time and then we'll work on it together. Feet together. Back, drop, left foot circles, right foot circles. Check that you're in a good front stance, make any adjustments you need. Define your center line by making that X. Up, back. Now when I go to get out of the form, what I'm gonna do is just simply shift my weight over to this side. So from here, I shift my weight over, I bring my left foot to my right foot, and then I push myself straight up. And that's how you'll close the form. So I'll do it one more time. Find my center line, and then I can close out the form. Now, do me a favor, stand up and follow me through the first set of the Silum Tau form. I'll work as your mirror. So I'll be doing my right foot when you do your left, so you can simply face the screen. So let's go feet together, hands at your side. Take a moment, breath in, and relax. Let everything out. Now bring your hands up, back, drop your knees, let your left foot do the circle, and then your right foot do the circle. Check that you're in a good straight line. Excellent. From here, you'll define your center line by making the simple X, hands up, and straight back. Now when you go to close, you're gonna bring your left foot to your right foot and push yourself right back to that good standing position. Let's do it just one more time. Hands up, back, drop your knees, left foot circles, right foot circles. You'll be in a good front stance, knees in back straight. Define your center line, and then bring your left foot over to your right foot. Great job. That's the first set of the Silum Tau form, and I'm gonna see in just a minute, we're gonna go over the second set and then work the first and second set together. Thank you.